The Magnificat is the prayer written by our Blessed Mother. And while the English is very poetic and beautiful, the Latin has a power that the English does not convey. Today, we're going to learn how to pray it and remember it in Latin. Stick around. Greetings, listeners, and welcome back for another episode. I'm excited to dive in today's episode, but first I want to thank all of you who listen to the podcast, especially those of you who are praying the rosary daily. The links are in the show notes. Remember, Pope St. Pius X once said, if there were one million families praying the rosary every day, the entire world would be saved. If you're listening on YouTube, Spotify, or iTunes, please hit the like button and leave a comment to show your support because it helps the podcast grow and succeed. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, don't hesitate to reach out to me via email at latinprayerpodcast at gmail.com. And lastly, if you would like to support the podcast further, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. There are four tiers on my Patreon page available to choose from. However, you can select a custom pledge with $1 to $2 a month and help me continue to create meaningful content for you. And before we end today's episode, we will pray for our wonderful patrons, their family members, and their intentions. So thanks again for tuning in. Let's dive in to the Magnificat. I'm going to start by just going through the English version beginning to end, and then we're going to go line by line into the Latin and see how that translates over into the English. It begins, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his humble servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. This is a modern Catholic translation. There are other versions of it, the more traditional kind, that has the, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, etc. And there's also one from the Anglican version, which is interesting, in the Common Book of Prayer in 1662. It's interesting to know, it puts a smile on my face to know that at one point, even the Protestants had a reverence for our Blessed Mother and the prayer that she wrote. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the Latin, which was translated from the original Greek. The first line is Magnificat anima mea dominum. So you can start by thinking Magnificat means to magnify. Anima is the word for soul, and mea means my soul. So anima mea is my soul. So Magnificat anima mea dominum means my soul magnifies the Lord. The next line is et exultavit spiritus meus in Deo, salutaris meo. So et exultavit, exultavit should make you think of to exalt, exultavit, spiritus meus. My spirit, just like we had anima mea, my soul, spiritus meus is my spirit. So exultavit spiritus meus is my spirit is exalted in Deo, in God. And who is God? Salutaris meo, my savior. Salutaris should think of salvation. Meo is my salvation. So et exultavit spiritus meus in Deo, salutaris meo means and my spirit is exalted in God my Savior. The next line is, Quia respexit humilitatem ancile sue. Quia is who. Respexit is to respect or to regard. Humilitatem is humility, so the humility. So, who regards the humility... And then the last two words of that line are ancile sue. Ancile is the Latin version of the word handmaiden. And it's translated from the original 
Greek word doule, which is the female version of the word doulos, which means slave or servant. It's actually where we get the word in English today, doula. Being the father of four children, I have a tremendous respect for doulas. Anyway, back to the Magnificat. So, Anchile Sue means his handmaiden or his servant. So, putting that together, we have Quia respectsit humilitatem Anchile Sue. He respects or sees the humility of his handmaiden. Now, remember the context again. This is how our Blessed Mother sees herself so low. She is so low, she is not worthy to be called woman, but rather she sees herself as the handmaiden, as the slave, as the servant of God. The next line in Latin is Ecce enim ex hoc beatum me, dicent omnes generationes. So Ecce means behold. Enim ex hoc literally translated means for from this. Enim ex hoc, for from this, beatum me. Beatum is blessed. Beatum me means I will be blessed. And we have to connect it to the next line, which is dicent omnes generationes. Dicent means to dictate or to say. Omnes means all. And generationes means generation. So when you put those two together, ecce Enem ex hoc. Behold, for from this, beatum me, blessed am I, dicent will be said, omnes generationes, by all generations. I love this next line. Quia fecit mihi magna. I love this next line. There's three lines actually that go together here. So it is quia Fecit mihi magna, qui potens est, et sanctum nomen eus. Let's look at the first one. Quia fecit mihi magna. Quia is who? Fecit is to do something. Mihi magna, to magnify me. So who has magnified me? Qui potens est. Potens, think of potential or think of power. Who is powerful? Who is all potential? Who can do everything? So, qui potens est et sanctum nomen eus. And holy is his name. Sanctum is holy. Nomen is name. Eus is his name. So, who has magnified me? Who is all powerful? And holy is his name. The next line is et misericordia eus a progenie in progenies dementibus eum. So, et is and, misericordia is to have mercy. Eus is his mercy. So, et misericordia eus is and his mercy a progenie in progenies from generation to generation. Timentibus eum. Timentibus, think of the word timid or to fear. So, timentibus eum is those who fear him. Reading this, it says his mercy falls on generation after generation, specifically on those who fear him. The next line is, fecit potentiam in brachio so. So, remember, fecit is to do something or to manifest something. Potentiam is his power. He's all potential. He has ultimate power. And he is showing or manifesting his power, fecit potentium in brachio suo, in his arm. He has made manifest the strength of his arm. Next we have, dispersit superbos mente cordis sui. Dispersit should make you think to disperse. Superbos should make you think of super boss or a proud boss, right? So he has dispersed the proud. Mente cordis sue. So mente is the mind, or think of mentality. Cordis is the heart, and sui is their heart. So dispersit super boss. He has scattered the proud. 
mente cordi sui, in the minds of their heart. The next line we have, deposuit potentes de sede. Deposuit should make you think of to deposit or to put down. Potentes, we already know, is the powerful. De sede, from their seats. So he has brought down the powerful from their seats. Et exultavit humiles, which means, and he has exalted, exaltavit to exalt. Humiles is the humble. Not only has he brought down the powerful from their seats, but he has lifted up or exalted the humble. The next line is Esurientes implevit bonis. Esurientes is hungry. Implevit is to fill. And bonis is good or good things. So Esurientes implevit bonis means the hungry he has filled with good things. The follow up line is Et divites dimisit inanes. So divites is the rich. Dimisit is to dismiss, and inanes is empty. So he has sent the rich away, empty. Esurientes implevit bonis, et devites dimisit inanes. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has dismissed and sent away, empty. The final lines here are beautiful. Sushepit Israel puerum suum. Sushepit is to accept. Israel, of course, is Israel. Puerum, the word there, is actually children. It has a slave or servant connotation, but its first meaning in the original Greek is child, which is why it translates into Latin as children. So translated, this means that he has accepted his children, Israel. Next, we have recordatus misericordiae sue, which is that he has remembered or recorded his mercy. And finally, we have sicut locutus est ad patres nostros. Sicut means just as locutus is he has spoken to our fathers or forefathers. And it clarifies Abraham to Abraham et semini eius which is his seed or his children, in secula, forever. So putting that together, he has remembered his mercy just as he had spoken to our fathers or forefathers, to Abraham and his offspring, forever. And now you know what the Latin means with some English words to help you remember the Latin as you go along or to translate it from the Latin into the English. I'm a huge fan of understanding what you are praying as you are praying it and not just simply mouthing the words and making sounds. So hopefully today's episode will help you to do just that, to remember and know what it is that you are praying when you pray the Magnificat in Latin. It's so specific. It's so heavy with its words. It's not at all poetic, and don't get me wrong, the poetic version that we have in English is beautiful, but sometimes you just need to pray with these powerful one-liners, the quia fecit mihi magna, who has magnified me, qui potens est, who is all-powerful. At least for me, it's a nice change from the beauty of the poetic version. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. I'd like to finish by, of course, praying for our patrons, for their family members, and for their intentions. So please join me now. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater nostra qui es in celi sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debite nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat et principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum, Amen.
in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Well, thank you again for tuning in to another episode. Until next time, may God love you and Our Lady keep you.